Okay, what's up, everybody? This is Hear Me Out, the podcast with Juan, a.k.a. Quick Truce. This is me, Kevin. Welcome back. Nice to see you again on this fine Tuesday no, afternoon. No, we're literally, you're literally listening to this on a Wednesday. You can't ruin the immersion. They have oh. to pretend like we have to pretend like this is this is just happening now. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. This Wednesday morning. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Wednesday morning. So, I mean, some of you may have noticed if, if, you, if you're a visual watcher, you know, the, the, the visuals have changed a little bit. We're still trying to figure out the logistics of how or where we're going to record these. So we actually moved to Japan. Yeah. Background, yes. you can tell. <laughs> we're actually filming from the basement of the Prime Minister of Japan. So take that as you will. Um, these aren't actually, we're actually not in Japan. We're still at my home, except we're in my basement. Like we're li- Like I feel like I'm in a dungeon. Yeah. Like if we stand up right now, like we might lose our heads. Dude, I, I, okay, so this isn't a flex, but I am six foot two ish, mm-hmm. six foot three, mm-hmm. and I physically cannot stand. Okay, let's see. Maybe they might show this, them. Show them. This might be cropped out. You might not even be able to see. But look, like I just hit my Damn. head. I, I know y'all heard that, bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> I just hit my head. Like look, look, look. Sitting down, like I'm touching the roof right now. This is for all the the visual watchers. I'm sorry if you're listening that you can't you can't see this. But yeah, we're we're still figuring it out. We're trying to make this as good as possible. We've been listening to the feedback. Um. We're not going to take all your advice. Yeah, I'm sorry to say it, but uh, some of it was very helpful. Some of it is just um, not for us. Not personally. what we want to do, <laughs> for so. lack of better terms. It's not like we're shitting on your ideas. Uh, no, I'm shitting on some of them. Some of them sucked. But we are going to get better. Like I like the idea you know, of me and Kevin sitting and yeah. looking more at each other. Now we and can th- see each th- other. That That's why we switched from the upstairs room, because... There was no space. Yeah. Like, I was basically sitting on Kevin's lap, and that's not fun. It's a little fun. To some. To some. Sorry. <laughs> let me let me clarify. It's fun occasionally if you're if you're that special someone. But how, even getting here, how, how was I getting yeah, here bro, today? It took me – I was – one, it was traffic. So, it took me like half an hour to get here, and then it took me like 25 minutes to find parking. And on top of that, at the end, you know, you got to add another like hour to parallel park. Up until this point, I've avoided parallel parking, but I couldn't avoid it today. Because usually, you know, bro, for the people that don't like to parallel park out there, you know how it is. Sometimes you find the spot that has two spaces, so you don't even have to, like, put it in reverse. You could just drive right in. But I couldn't do that today, so I was really struggling, fighting for my life out there. Listen, people get mad at me because I don't want to be the designated, not the DD, right? But they don't want, they get mad because I don't want to take my car out. But now you have witnessed how fucking long it takes to find parking here. There are days where I, where, where I will take like upwards of an hour, an hour and a half to find parking in my own home. Hear me out. Hear me out. Houses without driveways should be illegal. I don't give a fuck if we are in the middle of the city. I don't care. Like, I, I don't give a fuck. Houses without driveways, ban them. Yeah, I mean, I'm lucky because my house has a driveway. A that garage, was legally not, built. Not everybody in my street has one so i got super lucky because we would not be able to park outside there's never parking there's never parking it's a terrace so the street is like literally like one car wide it's like one and a half car wide oh my so God. when two cars were like coming towards each other one has to stop and just wait for the other to go around them that's how bad it is i hate streets like that like yeah, like why terrible. that's another thing that should not be legal like, just stop making streets like that why is it that i have to drive slow on your street because my car literally does not fit and I don't drive like a big car. Like I drive a little sedan. Yeah, I mean my car's pretty low too. Yeah, my car's a little, little guy, and you just like, oh my god. But yeah, that parking shit, it, it's it's atrocious. Let let's ban them. Let's just yeah. ban mm-hmm. ban streets, ban homes without driveways. The later I come to Juan's house, the later the episode's gonna get recorded, just cause everybody's parking at home. Do it literally, literally. Like you don't understand when I get home from work, it, it's 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 atrocious. Like it's the most. Disc- and they're filming the fucking. They're, they're filming the Wu-Tang Clan show around here. Mm. The Wu-Tang Clan show around here. So there's like a whole block. Like there's already very limited parking where I live. But there's like a whole like three, four blocks full of like movie production trucks now. And I literally cannot park. Wait until they start recording Joker 2. Dude, I will cry. I will literally shed real tears. Like Downtown is over. <laughs> I will literally become the Joker. Like they won't even need to film the movie. They will have a real one living in the streets. Let's go become extras. I Let's would just be walk down. By. I feel like me and you have extra faces. You know what? I could do it. Like I, I have like, a, like we have forget like maybe not you. Let me speak for myself. I don't want to speak for for Kevin right now. But I feel like I have a forgettable face. Like I feel like 
at one point, like, you'll see my face and be like, mm, okay, maybe. But then afterwards, like, you won't really think too much about no, it. I mean, we've discussed this. You could play Spider-Man. You look like a Spider-Man, for, to yeah. be honest. I could, I could play, like, a stunt double. Nah, you could play that, that like, really later in the 2099 Spider-Man. You know, the, the super oh, blue suit. He's, he's Mexican. Also, oh, yeah, Half he Hispanic, Mexican. I think. Bring, bring a Uruguayan Spider-Man. We need Uruguayan that. Spider-Man. <laughs> the thing about, like, Latino representation on TV, like... If they casted me or something, I don't even know if they'd be able to market me as, like, Latino representation. Because <laughs> people would just be like, that's not what we meant. Like, yes, you got the fucking white Latino to play a role. Good job, Hollywood. They're going to set and your Part of your contract is going to be to be in the sun at least three hours a day. So, and, oh, <laughs> my God. I, I've thought about that. Like, because I do want to get into, like, acting and stuff. And I've thought about that. Like, oh, I could fill the quota of, like, Latino representation if they needed in films. But then I think about, like, the backlash on, like, like social media not the backlash on me because I just like accept there'd be backlash on me, but the backlash on like movie studios, like, Hey, that's not what we meant by Latino. <laughs> like you, you picked the whitest looking Hispanic person in the world. And then I'll go around and be like, guys, my name is Juan Lopez. Like, like I promise I'm Hispanic. Wait, have you heard about that Fidel Castro movie where they casted James Franco? As Fidel oh, Castro? they did bro. I don't that know. was so stupid. But his last name Franco. <laughs> all right buddy <laughs> he gotta he be at least it. a little hispanic he got some percentage in there oh my god no actually like it, it's terrible it's like it's not my fault yeah, I, I was born to white parents like hispanic whites but i mean uruguayans a little lot of white of like a lot of whites a lot of whites what can i do but i think about that sometimes no i feel like if i was to start my debut as an extra you seen that that avengers uh me <laughs> where that lady's just booking it she she put her whole soul into that role <laughs> she started sprinting it's a good role to have <laughs> for those that don't know i forgot who the character that's standing there is is it like is it black widow that's just like looking i think up it's at the sky? hawkeye maybe is it hawkeye it it's one somebody. of them and then like all the extras are just running past them and this one lady is just she in the olympics she's like, ah 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 she was she's killing moving. that shit she was killing that shit i remember that role she got paid more than the other extras for sure oh my all right, God. at least she's getting compensated right now <laughs> i hope so i mean i don't know i've i've, I've started my my sunbathing journey as you can see, maybe you guys didn't notice if you're not watching it. But from the last podcast, I am a lot more red. It's not the lighting. It's not the <laughs> lighting. I got a mean-ass sunburn. And I'll tell you why right now. Water po- Okay, this is this is one of those moments. This is what everybody's fucking subscribed for. Hear me out. Water parks, mid. If I don't feel like I'm going to die on a ride, I don't want to get on it anymore. That is actually insane to me i mean i haven't gone to a water park in a while i used to go all the time when i was little i mean we mentioned it in the last podcast but six flags kind of scarred me so i didn't really go to amusement parks after that (laughs) my elbow disintegrating yeah callback what a callback actually what a callback (laughs) but uh yeah water parks are kind of they were fun at least like here in new jersey i don't know if it's still open or whatever but it was the land of make-believe i've never Uh, i never went there it was like a small water park but like when you're little you know it's huge it looks huge but if you guys know what he's talking about, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, I think man. I know what you're talking about. Wait. It was like... I never went to it, though. Where was it? I have no idea. Fuck. I don't remember <laughs> where that was. I don't know the city. No, I don't know. I don't I know. know that's what it's called. And, like, I mean, it had some some chill rides. That was when I was like, bro, the the lazy river hits, bro. Maybe the water parks don't hit, river. but the lazy river hits. We'll never not hit. Yeah. We'll never not hit. And, like, I don't know. Those... What are they? The tubes? Yeah. The, I don't know what it's called in English. Shit, I already forgot what it's called tubes. in Spanish. Are they just Is tubes? it just tubes? I'm okay. Pretty, pretty, I mean, if, yeah. if, you, if someone else knows, feel <laughs> Leave free it in to the comment section. <laughs> Please. Yeah, but those are fun. Getting on those, like, those water slides with them, that's fun. Because one time, oh my God, let me tell you a story about this one Go time on. where, um, I don't know what happened. I'm pretty sure I, I stuck my foot out and tried to, like, slow myself down. Because it was one of those that, like, drops straight down. Oh, yeah. Into okay. the water. But, like, I don't know what happened, but I, I became a pebble. I started skipping the water, and I lost my glasses. I was disorientated. Someone had to come get me because I just started rolling past the water. That is crazy. That, and, and it wasn't a bad experience. It was not nearly as bad as Six Flags, but, you know. It sounds fun, it though. It was like, fun. It was fun, I, yeah. I'm scared of, like, roller coaster roller coasters. So, like, I'll get on all the water rides. But even then, like, I got <laughs> I got on one of those where, like, the floor comes out from oh, under you. Oh, absolutely not. So, I, no, so, I, uh-uh. so the whole way up, I felt mad confident. Like, I was really, like, thinking, like, I saw, dude, little-ass kids were getting on that shit mad scared. And in my head, I was thinking, like, yo, these little-ass kids, I'm a grown-ass, 22-year-old, grown-ass man, yeah. s- fucking sexy, whatever. That, I just threw that in there. Mm-hmm. But I was sitting at the top, 
and then right when they actually closed the thing on me, I started fucking <laughs> freaking out. I was, I, like, I, I was looking at my brother through like the fucking like door because they have like a clear door, and I was like, I was holding back tears. I was like, no, please don't drop me, don't drop me. I was so scared, bro. I was so scared, and I didn't realize it until I was at that moment. That was the only good ride. No, no, other rides were good, but that's the best one. Mm -hmm. Like, that moment where I felt like I was about to die, I was like, yo, like, this is really it. Like, we're only one episode deep into our podcast. Like, <laughs> what could have been? <laughs> no, I, well, you said you went to Dorney Park? Yeah, I was at Dorney Park. Okay, yeah. I've gone there before. I did, yeah, I did the water park. Because it's like a water park. And yeah, yeah, it's park, both. Right? It's, like, small. Like, the, the, the water yeah. park is, like, small. It had, it had, like, when I went, it had a cool show, though. Like, it had, had like, some, some singers and stuff there that were performing. That was cool. There was, like, some Cirque du Soleil concert, or not concert, like, show that they were doing. But, I don't know, like... I went on some of the rides with, like, my, my mom and my cousin because my cousin, like, left again. So, but, like, my mom, if we're going to go into the, the stories that we were talking about from the last podcast we're going to talk about now, like, she got on the first ride with us, fine. Second ride with us, puking everywhere. And I'm just, like, thinking. And, and my mom is so funny. She, like, comes off that ride, and she's like, oh, I don't know. I've never gotten dizzy before. Dude, my mom growing up would get dizzy at the smallest shit so like we didn't have a car growing up we only got a car like once my sister started driving mm -hmm. um and dude my mom would we would be on like nj transit my mom would have a little bag throw up constantly like you know how and i was a little ass kid like man embarrassed like don't mom like stop throwing up or like we go to freaking the mall and you know how long it is to get to that mall on bus and oh my yeah. god dude it was like an hour and a half to get to a mall that driving takes like 15 minutes if even that from where i live at least but dude we would get off that bus bleh, 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 and then my mom be like oh i don't know why i never get dizzy like dude you get dizzy all the goddamn time That's like, like 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 this is like you get dizzy all the goddamn time this is not a one-time occurrence like i promise you you have done this multiple times wait i have a question for you now can you read while in motion like driving on a plane I've never really tried never it. Never tried it. like like seeing your phone, like like texting somebody. Or, like, I don't like to drive message. like text and drive at all. Like oh, if no, I'm no, no. driving, if you're in the passenger seat or just oh like, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah yeah you yeah you can yeah I can not for long periods of time. I get super dizzy. I got like that my light. <laughs> Dude, God nerfed you too hard. Yeah. You can't see no, colors. Because, no, because my mom's this way. Cause she, from like since, like I can remember, if she sits in the passenger seat, it's not as bad in the back. I don't know why, but if if she's in the passenger seat. Within five minutes, she got sleepy Dude, my and just mom. passes out. And I would clown her every day. And she must have cursed me, bro. Because if I get in the passenger seat, I can't be the you, <laughs> in the passenger seat. Because I'm fighting for my life to try to stay awake over there. It's Dude, hard. God really nerfed you. Yeah. Made you, made you. You can't read. <laughs> I could read. <laughs> I just can't read in motion. You can't, okay, you, you can't see colors. Okay. That's why we look That's like the fucking true. Wiggles today. Yeah. Why the fuck are we dressed <laughs> as the Wiggles today? Like, I'm wearing... Guys, okay, I'll be honest. I changed shirts right before the podcast started because I was wearing a, a Quick True shirt again, and I don't want you guys to think I'm a fucking cartoon character. But then Kevin came with this purple-ass shirt, and now we look like the fucking Wiggles. Like, we look like the Wiggles, bro. I'm the purple Power Ranger. Dude, no, no, <laughs> stop. No more callbacks. I'm fucking... I was just talking about how the Red Ranger, and I'm wearing all blue. Damn, this is actually embarrassing. Yeah, this is... You're not the leader today, huh? No. You gave it away. I'm not the leader today. I, I I let you have it. You probably put that on thinking it was red. <laughs> hey, this is foul, bro. You probably Yo, put that on thinking it was red. Can we get a sponsor for that roast, please? Hey, uh, hey guys. Actually, we've been, I've been looking at some sponsors. Oh, okay, first sponsor we're gonna get. Uh, Manscaped. I need to get one of their little razors. Manscaped. I hate men's products that have those goofy ass names. Sometimes though, like like why the fuck is your shit called the lawnmower? Like, why? Like, that shit pisses me off. I'm not going to lie. I tried it. It's good. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I just it's, use regular it's clippers. Solid. It's solid. Like, nah, nah. Regular regular clippers are is too much. Like, it's it's a lot safer than those, like, regular razors. That's for sure. And you got a little light and a charger. It's, it's super, like... Um, bro, you know we're not sponsored, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's Stop it for the segment. This, this clout. It's ass. But, okay, Trust. so I'm gonna ask you a question. This might be TMI, but we might just have to put it on the internet. Oh my god! All right, we're gonna do it to hear me out, so we we might be able to clip this. But hear me out. When I shave, you know my my area down there, I don't like go bare balls naked. Like mm -hmm. I leave a little little left to the surprise. 
Oh my god, is he gonna have hair on his left now or his right? No, no, no. Not that like I, I shave one and don't shave the other. But like I leave like a s not a substantial amount where it's annoying, but like I make it like a little like like a sunrise. So like uh -huh. so like right above right above I etch out the top and then above I leave some. But like I fade it in, so like I give myself a little skin fade. Damn, you gave you gave little you a fade. I give little me a f like a skin fade. Like it's like, <laughs> it's like no it way. it is a little funny because like it might sound like I'm joking. You're putting in too much work right it's now. It's not even like I'm putting in that much work. It's just like I don't want to like because you know you get the itchy. The presentation gotta be there. Yeah, but like you get itchy, right? Like if you completely go like 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 naked, like you get itchy or no? Like when uh -uh. it grows back. Uh uh. Maybe I'm, the first time, but like no. I'm gonna have crabs. Oh, it doesn't get it all the time. God you. No, fuck. <laughs> Bro, you just announced that. No, never mind. Never, never mind. Never mind. It's not that it gets itchy, but like, like, like it's a little uncomfortable when it grows back. Nah. When the hair grows back, like on the balls itself, not like above, like on the balls itself. Nah. It's not like a little like uncomfortable when the hair, dude. No, you, it's, it's not a porcupine. It's not poking at me. I'm gonna have to go to a doctor. <laughs> you have to get that check, my boy. All right, all right. Let, let's move on to the next topic before we keep going down this rabbit hole. Yo, you just ruined my whole life. <laughs> Hold on. Son, nah, I get tested, guys, just in case anyone's wondering. I do get tested. That's important. Listen, I went to a party school. They God, were, they're like, right, yeah, they're like number one in STDs. Like, that's the only thing they might be number one in. And that is not something I want to flex, you know? So I'm you have to be like safe. Infinity Stones. My balls look like the Infinity Stones, I guess. <laughs> oh, shit. I got a red one, a blue one. Sometimes they're purple. I don't know. I'm joking. That is all jokes. For any woman that might be interested in me in the near future, please know we are comedians. Yeah, this shit is getting clipped, more. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm never finding love, actually. But let's let's move on from my, my jewels, from my Infinity Stones, right, as right. you called them. Mm -hmm. So as you mentioned in the last podcast, wow, this is a crazy segue. But we, you wanted to talk about like, funny stories you had growing right. up from your like parents and okay. you know we kind of touched on that with like my mom yeah, puking everywhere bit. but like what 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 story did you have riled up for right now oh no i was just i was just thinking about like their experiences compared to mine because they come to this country and obviously they don't understand shit right. sometimes especially when like they don't know the language they're still learning the language so, so certain stuff is like they're still trying to get used to it so like right. me i can't say stuff without them like they don't understand i'd be like Damn, that shit hard. I'm like, what? That don't what make do you no mean sense. by that? <laughs> yeah. What's hard? Bro, that's a, okay, hold on. But then when I went to like there, like when I went back to Ecuador, that shit was rough because they have their own. Like, like colloquial ass sayings, yeah, like the sayings. But the yeah. thing is, it's not even, they're, bro, the Ecuadorians are lazy. Oh they call God. everything by like brand names. It's like everything, everything is Coca-Cola. Bro, but it's like that. I think it's like that in most Spanish-speaking no places. No I think, way. like, oh, I don't know coca, but it'll be like whatever. Yeah. So let me tell you what happened to me. That that shit was embarrassing. I was sent, I was sent to go get something to drink. You know, cause like, I was at my grandma's house. She's like eighty years old. Like she can't do a lot. Right. But I crossed her up in basketball, but nah. <laughs> <laughs> that was out of nowhere. <laughs> Just cause. Um. So I went with her to the store, and she was like, she was like, yo, here, buy yourself whatever you want. So I was like. And oh, it's not it's not like that like over here, especially in, like a lot of countries. It's right. not where you could just grab a drink, and then like pay for it like either later or like grab it, put it on the counter, and then pay for it. They they give it to you. They don't want you going into there. Oh wow! I, yeah, I, I, wow. I like it's like it's like seen as disrespectful. Wow. Like, it's like it's like, oh, if I go to your house, am I just raiding your fridge? So like you want to do that here, which is like it's like, I was like all right. Like, That's fair. Yeah. I, I never. I actually. I, I haven't been back to Uruguay since I was like since I left. So no. I, I. I just like lost that culture. I guess. But nah. Go ahead. But nah. Once you go, they like they like sniff you out. They like find you. Oh, gringo, gringo, gringo. Yeah, like, it's gringo. It's what do you want, bro? So like they they caught me day one, bro. Because my grandma took me to the store. I went to go buy something to drink, and I was like, damn. I'm I'm a Sprite fan, so I was I was going in there looking mid. for a Sprite. Come on, bro. You Sprite can't is say mid. That. <laughs> Sprite is so mid. How Sprite is, Sprite is like mid? Sprite. Sprite is like dirty water. What? Yeah. Nah. Hear me out. Sprite mid tastes bro, like dirty you must water. Be a Dr Pepper fan. I am a Dr I Pepper fan. I love no Dr way. Pepper. Like you guys ever like get home from a long day of work and then sit back, crack open a little Dr Pepper, <laughs> absolutely, and watch the Ellen DeGeneres show. <laughs> These words have never come out my <laughs> my worst enemy couldn't get that out of me. Um, but I'm yeah, at the store. So I went to the store, 
And, like, I was just, one, my Spanish wasn't great at the time. It was all right. But, like, compared to their Spanish, they were, like, like they shitting could tell. on me. Yeah, yeah they, they could like, tell oh, you're like, an outsider. Nah, you're, you're talking in English right now. Like, I was, like cohete means rocket, but I would just be, like, roquete or some oh shit like that. Oh, my God. Know? I was a no sabo kid. <laughs> yeah, I do that shit, too. Like, even when my cousin who just came from Europe and, like, that was here on vacation. Uh-huh. Like, we would talk about stuff. And then I always joke that my brother's girlfriend has like like their family doesn't have good spanish like i always joke about that and then when my cousin came uh i was like asking him i was like yo is my accent better than theirs and he was like i mean it is and i was like fuck all the validation i <laughs> fucking needed you're guayan straight from the motherland telling me my spanish is good i was like that's it that's all i need in my life that's insane <laughs> i mean i that dude it just felt good because like even like when my sister had gone back for vacation and we like FaceTimed her. Her Uruguayan, like her Spanish, had gotten so Uruguayan, and I was so fucking jealous. I was like, "Damn, she really does sound Uruguayan okay. as fuck." Because I sound Uruguayan when I talk to Hispanic people, but to other Uruguayans, like it's like you were saying, like it's so no, easily, catch you, yeah, yeah, it's so easily like distinguishable. Like you have your little quirks like yeah, that. Like, no, yeah. like even stuff that you be like, "Nah, nah I'm not gonna fall. I'm not gonna fall." But like some stuff, like okay. Okay. Like, like it's going, it's just gonna slip. Yeah. And then we'll be like, oh, got his ass, got yeah. his ass. Char- upcharge him like five times the the amount. Yeah. That's what they do. They catch you. But it's just like a lot of words. Like there's just a lot of words that I don't know the translation for. So I'll just uh-huh. say it in English, but in Spanish. Like, fuck. What was the word? Like, I think I I, I said brag to my cousin, and I didn't know how to say it in, in Spanish, which we Googled, and it was like fafarono or something like that. Oh. Fafarono or some I random know, shit. Bostear. Bostear. Like, like, yeah. Like but I was like, braguear, braguear. <laughs> he was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, braguear, you know, braguear. Estaba braguiando, braguiando. You ever seen the boys? <laughs> you made those words up. <laughs> he was just looking at me, and I, I, I was just like, bro, I don't know what to say. Like, it's not my fault. Like, some... I feel like in Spanish, words are so, like, distinguishable. Like, words mean, like, they look how they mean, at least. You know what I mean? Like, when you read Spanish, like, pueblo is spelled how you think pueblo would be spelled. Yeah. But in English, it's like, the, the like each word, depending on the context of the sentence, is said a different way. Like, I read, I read. That does piss me off. That, but it's not like that it's in Spanish a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does change in Spanish though is the 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 like the cadence of the way you say a word changes what the word actually means. Like, again, my my family friend was telling me this, where it's like, comiste, comiste, comiste. It's like, did you eat? You ate. You ate. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's kind of like a- the same word. But it means, like, four different things. Uh-huh. It's kind of like, well, it's like a discount. Because, like, in Mandarin, they be doing that. Like, But it's just, like, they be changing the pitch of their voice. And like, oh, yeah. I don't know how they do it. It's, it's hard. But it'll be, like, the same word. they just be, like, adding emphasis on different areas. And it's, like, five different things. It's just insane. I think all the languages are very similar. And we just, like, fuck. Okay. This, I, I'm going to go off on a tangent. Not actually a tangent. I just want to add this. Last podcast, I said the word like so many goddamn fucking times that like I was thinking like I do it again. I was thinking in my head. I was about to say like again. I was thinking in my head. If you take a shot every time I say like you will die, like we will have to plan your funeral and the hear me out podcast foundation will have to be made for those people. You might reach 110 percent alcohol blood levels. Dude, it was stressing me out because like I obviously fuck. I keep saying it like I, I'm trying to get it out of my vocabulary. But I was listening to it back. I was listening to the first episode back, driving my car to work. And I think in the first 10, 15 minutes, I say the word like about tw- like 15 to 30 times. And I, do- I want to stop. I want to stop. It's I okay want to, to be take breaks English. in between talking. Yes, I you know. Can breathe. <laughs> I try to fill in the space every single time without leaving any space for this but you now, saw what just happened that, i could have yeah, through like yeah, it, yeah that, now that you've announced it they're gonna be they're gonna be searching for you but good it's gonna be like <laughs> he good. said like at 315 44 45 23 56 please keep me in check like see i said it again just keep me in check even with the words like mm, even with the words yeah right not not necessarily that i say the word yeah a lot but i was like fuck i keep saying like I'm going to stop mentioning it this podcast, but I was on the phone for, like, an interview for a job. And I was on the phone on my way to Dorney Park, right? 
so my brother-in-law was sitting next to me. My brother-in-law is a pharmacist. And I'm talking to, like, the recruiter or whatever for this position. And I kept saying, like, yeah. I kept saying, yeah. And then afterwards, I asked my brother-in-law, I was like, yo, did I sound like a professional? And he was like, he was like. Absolutely not. He was like, <laughs> the interview was like, it wasn't like an interview interview. It was like an impromptu, like, oh, what do you see yourself? This and the third. But he was, uh, he said, it was good, but just don't use the word yeah so much. Like, bro, that kind of pisses me yes. off, bro, because, like, I don't say yes. Like, I don't ever. say yes either. I should be able to say yeah. That's just how I talk. But today I had another, like, phone interview, and I caught myself, like, continuously saying yeah. So I was actively trying to change it to yes. Like, uh, actively trying to change it to yes. No, I've gotten lucky, and, like, any time I've had to do, a, like, an interview or something or meet with somebody, it's been somebody around our age. If I could just say yeah or whatever, because they talk the same. They're like, oh, I understand. Like, if they say yes, I'm going to get out of there because, like, bro, that's going to be a toxic-ass work environment if a 23-year-old is talking to me like, yes. The recruiter yes, kept, correct. S- kept saying yeah as well. Mm-hmm. So I was like, mm. So I was just mimicking that, I guess, uh-huh. because if they were comfortable saying yeah, I was just like, okay, yeah, I'll say yeah. Right. But it's also a recruiter that's recruiting for a company, so they're probably less – involved in the actual company they're more so just recruiting for the company mm-hmm. so it, it is more common for them to be a little more informal because they're not the actual like interviewers they're just the recruiters that then get you an interview so i understand but sorry i just went off on a tangent we were talking about oh, shit. You at let, the me, store. let me finish my story yes, and then yes, we can just move ahead. on sorry I, I wanted to bring it back i just <laughs> I needed forgot. to say that yeah, i just needed cool. to say that so let me just and let me just like real quick wrap it up so basically i went to the store looking for a soda and I was like, damn, I'm really in the mood for some spray right now. So I went to the store. I talked with Kirk, like, uh, like, hey, like, let me, let me get one of those. One of those. Yeah, because I didn't know how to, like, I didn't know how to refer. Because I spray. said, no, I said soda, and soda. they didn't understand. They were like, what? So I was like, no, no, like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soda. I want, cause, you know what? Granted, I could have said spray, but I was like, I was like 12, you know. Like, Fair. <laughs> I was just like, bro, understand what I'm you talking about? Read. You couldn't read. You couldn't read. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bro. <laughs> um. So I was like, yeah, let me get one of those. He was like, what, what? Oh, he was like, quieres cola? And I was like, no, 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 yo quiero Sprite. And then oh, like, my, bro, my my grandma <laughs> and the clerk were just crying their ass off. And I could not understand why they were having such a, a good time with themselves. I was like, bro, can I get my fucking Sprite, please? And since then, it took like three years before I went back. It makes me sad to think that like we lose our culture that much because we get so disconnected from where we're actually from. That, that that's such a wow wow that's such a weighted statement be like where are you actually from i hate that question mm-hmm. but it's it's something where i just feel like we really do lose our connections from back home where our culture comes from at least maybe not where we're directly from i mean i was born in uruguay but i grew up in america so it's different but i i, I kind of feel sad about it a little bit like i see my niece and nephew right and in my head i realize the more we get closer to that idealization of the american dream the more culture we lose because although my sister talks to my niece and nephew in spanish and we all talk to them in spanish and i speak spanish fluently i can read write, and 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 speak it i still feel that we lose the culture as a whole and that's just a part of the american dream i guess the more you're involved in these like acts of conformity where you go to school, get a job, you go into this professional realm, you lose that sense of culture when you have kids. Because especially, like, we talk less Spanish than our parents did. And in turn, our kids are going to talk less Spanish than we did, which is already less than our parents did. So it's just slowly but surely losing, 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 losing the culture. Damn. I can't allow another No Sabo kid. I can't. <laughs> like, I don't want to. I don't want my kids to not speak Spanish. But realistically, in the context of the world we live in now, it'd be hard to maintain their Spanish. Especially, like, my sister lives in fucking California and we live in Jersey. And they talk in English at school. They don't talk in Spanish. My sister talks to my nieces and nephews in Spanish. But but that goes away from everything. You well, know what I mean? I don't know how it is because I, I don't know how it will be. But now... Like, when I was growing up, Spanish was always around me. Maybe it was because, like, my parents didn't really speak English, so they found people that spoke Spanish. Mm-hmm. No, I feel like even if they didn't know how to speak English, they would find people that they could relate to speak right. Spanish with since that's right. what they're more comfortable in. So it was always around me. Even when I wasn't talking uh, with it at home, whenever I went to go meet somebody, went to somebody's place or whatever, 
it was always in Spanish. Like English same, was same only too. at school. So I would be like, oh, yeah, I'm more comfortable talking in, in Spanish up until, like, I don't know, I was old enough to think. <laughs> then yeah. I could, like, like now, I don't think in Spanish. I think in English. Oh, wow. And, like, I have to, like, translate to Spanish, kind of. Like, especially, like, reading in Spanish is, like, a lot slower than English because I'm, like, translating. I'm like, oh, shit, that's how that shit is spelled. I <laughs> how to pronounce it, yeah. but I'm like, oh, that's how you spell it. <laughs> it is crazy to think about because even though we leave our home countries – we still find those communities where we belong, I guess, in a sense, where we left Uruguay and we know so many fucking Uruguayans in America now. Mm-hmm. And it's probably the same with Ecuadorians. It's probably the same with a bunch of people from different parts of Southern America and other places where you immigrate from. You find your community. You find the people you have more in common with culturally. And that's how you build your community when you come to America and have that new start. But that, that like, kind of leads me to, like, this next segment we want to talk about. Where, like, t- uh, I was going to do a hear me out. I'm going to do a hear me out. Because we're talking about kids and stuff, right? So, hear me out. Naming your kid after yourself is crazy dick riding. Like, naming your son Junior crazy dick riding you know how <laughs> selfish you have to be to name your son after yourself no nah, my, my dad named me after myself <laughs> damn he upstairs can yeah. we get him can we get catching him in the episode? Strays. <laughs> just catching strays but i just say that um aside outside of the joke like having kids is it selfish now Absolutely. because of where we are in the world recently we saw if you guys are into current events oh. kevin likes this because he likes this a scientist recently chained himself It's a Chase Bank. And in doing so, he talked about, like, climate change and that things need to change because the world is changing and no one else is changing with it. And there's this movie called Don't Look Up. Have you seen that movie? Yeah, I've seen it. it. So it's with Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, if you guys haven't seen it, Um, where basically the same thing happens, except outside of climate change, it's like a meteor coming down, right? And these scientists go on TV and are telling the world, like, hey, there's a meteor coming. And everyone takes it as a joke. And then at the end of the movie, they all, oh, spoiler alert, oh. they all fucking die because a meteor came and hit the fucking planet. Yeah. So now we see scientists actively chaining themselves to Chase Bank, actively making these global moves where they are being seen by the news. Because I'm sure there's been scientists, and I know there are because, you know, I follow the science world and, and see these changes in climate. And we finally see it broadcasted on like a national TV and no one takes alarm to it. So how can we, you know, as a, like adults now, right? How can we have kids knowing the world we're leaving them? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like people always talk about like individual um, accountability. Yeah, right. But like, I mean, it could only take you so far. Like I, I remember I don't, it was a couple years back, I'm pretty sure. But it was like um, everybody was like in the community was recycling and like, you know, making sure that bottles were where they needed to be like right. trash was where it needed to be but then once the tra- like once the like the the trucks came by like the garbage trucks they would just throw everything in regardless yeah. so like what was the point and like that I'm though that shit happens all the time like even look at look at all these celebrities using their private jets and stuff yeah like, it's how the oh. fuck <laughs> the, the, I don't know if you guys have seen this but that article that came out that that okay, so it, it came out because everyone was clowning Kylie Jenner because she apparently used her private plane for like a four minute drive, which is a four minute ride, which is a forty five minute drive. Yeah. Right? What do you even park it? I guess what they have even? I don't think have money. You think they're worried about parking? Yeah, but like if you were to take a private jet somewhere, do you like park it at the airport? they probably have private airports where they have like jets. Uh-huh. I don't understand. So it. I don't still, have money so they, like that. They bro. would still need to drive to their location. You think anyway? planes use Easy Pass? <laughs> <laughs> they got like like you think a they float take pass. Change? <laughs> no, those motherfuckers do full service in the air. The plane just falls. <laughs> <laughs> they just kick them out. They yeah, just jump, parachute. But when that Kylie Jenner shit came out, there was actually like an article that was written, uh, that showed like the celebrities that use their private je- like private planes the most, and Taylor Swift was number one, and she apparently has like eight thousand gallons of like carbon emissions in like yeah. half a year so it just makes you think so wait so actually because of that i actually like might have an idea as to why she's taking her private jet all the time because she has a boyfriend that lives in england 
So she's just visiting him all the time. And just How is it worth a boyfriend that lives in England? Huh? You're a, you're a Swifty? Nah, my girlfriend is. Oh, though, so. okay, okay, okay. Fair. <laughs> we go back to the flex, you know. Flex. <laughs> Stop flexing. Uh, yeah, but she she like caught me up. I was like, oh, so like, she's destroying the world for a boy. That's like, so that's, romantic. That's crazy. Would you destroy the world for a girl? <laughs> I could, I could fly first class if I got that money. Like, what's stopping them from flying first class? Why they need their private jet? And they know what like okay, you could get harassed or whatever, but just you could. I assure you, paying for, like, 30 bodyguards is going to be cheaper than flying a private jet Maybe flying to England. I just, like, I don't know. That's a mad romance. Like, fly, like taking a plane all the way to, you, to see your boy in London. Like, um, I won't even take a train to see a girl in New York. Like, I'm, I don't know. Maybe romance is dead. Yeah. But, gotta be. I, I don't, don't know. know. Uh, killing a thousand turtles to go for a 30-minute Son, trip. Oh, my God. Not Hear me out. That. Hear me out. <laughs> Fuck the turtles. Let them die. I'm tired of fucking paper straws. Bro, I'm tired of them. The turtles? I, don't, I don't care about them anymore. Let them die. Like, if it takes... Listen, listen, listen. Why the fuck do I have to use paper straws when you got these fucking dumbass celebrities taking their jets for fucking joy rides just doing donuts in the air for what? That Why I gotta use true. a paper straw? I mean, the, the metal straws can only take you so far when you got like, metal everybody straws. using this private jet. I mean, like, we were talking about Kylie Jenner. I'm pretty sure it was her, too, that, like, posted a picture on Instagram with... Um, she didn't Travis. Maybe. Yeah, right. Oh, there's a private jet behind them. Yeah, and he was like, "Are you taking yours oh or mine?" I was like, oh God. my! And people were like, yeah. "Goals," Go and now I don't know where, bro. I'm. T- nah, we're bro. dying. Nah, we're dying. We're dying. I mean, bro, I mean, have you seen the news here in New Jersey? We might be entering a drought. What do you mean? Is your runner? Is your water running today? Oh, it's not that we're entering a drought. There <laughs> no, was no, no, a, no, but there's like there's actually there like, was a we, pipe break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, like no, a no, nearby no. city. Let's <laughs> not I'm say capping, exactly I'm where capping, we live. Like, no, we might we might actually be entering. There's like no water. We're running out of water. Damn. I don't know, like California's already been in drought for a long ass time. They don't got Damn, water. Damn, yeah, that's might be scary. Next. Damn, you know what I'm gonna have to do then? I'm gonna have to step in. Right. I'm just gonna have to walk around the neighborhood shirtless and then. And then we're going to have to just... Everybody's sweating. Just wet. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to have to walk around the neighborhood shirtless, me and you. Go walking around, do our due diligence, make sure the ladies see us. And then I think we just solved our water crisis. Send us out to California too. Listen, government, send us out to California too. We can solve that problem like that. What if well, what if you collect water? <laughs> Stop this. Wait, where, no. where, are where are you going? <laughs> right. Uh, legally. <laughs> legally, please. Legally. Like, if, if you were to collect water in those, like... Um, you know those Britas, like, Brit- Britas. Is it Britas? Something huh? like that. The ones that like uh. The water thing where you like pour water into it and it filters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Brita. It's a Brita. And those things every college student has in their yeah. dorm room. Yeah. My sister uses one, but yeah. I have one too. Yeah. It's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> but would it be drinkable? I don't know how that does with sweat. You know what I mean? Like I don't know how it does with sweat, and it's not even just drinking water. Like we won't even have water to shower and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at. I don't know about how Uruguay is, but in Ecuador, you got limited hot water. Yeah. I mean, that's I think that's most Southern America where, like, you have, like, the the boiler or whatever, and it has, like, a limited amount of hot water you could use for, like, the month or the... I, I think it's the month or, like, the week. I don't know how it works. I, I take hot water for granted until I, <laughs> I go visit because, God damn, it'd be like, oh, you have more than enough time to shower with hot water. I'd be, like, in there for, like, 10 minutes, and it's already, like, it's ice age in there. Yeah, I don't know. My family be making jokes because, like, I always t- I always say if there's no AC like I'm not going nowhere, and right. they they just clown me because they're like if you ever go to Uruguay you're fucked, the cars don't have AC the the homes don't have AC you're just gonna be melting and dying and I'm yeah. I, I listen you might not catch me in Uruguay for some time because let them catch up with the electricity and shit and then we can maybe start getting some moves in to get to get into Uruguay. Wait for the people listening right now are y'all. Winter fans or summer fans? Cause I, bro, summer's been mad hot these past summer's couple years. Summer's been too hot, bro. Summer has not been hitting like it has in other years. Like at one point, maybe summer was my favorite I can't. Um, season, but winter's just better. You could just put on more layers. You could only take off so much in the summer. Like right now, coming here at seven p.m., it was a hundred and two degrees outside. Ridiculous. Like, it feels like a hundred and two degrees outside. So it's a hundred and two yeah. degrees outside. No such thing as feels like. I hate that shit, bro. Hear me out. Stop putting it feels like on weather apps. It's just 102 degrees. We know it just is. It just is. Fuck all this other shit like, oh, maybe. No, it just is 102 degrees. That's it. 
That's the TikTok, right? Why there. do I cool. care? <laughs> yeah, like, why do-, why do I care if it's 80 degrees if it don't feel like that? Yeah, like, I don't care what it actually is. If I go outside, I'm like, oh, but it says it's actually supposed to be 74 degrees. Like, I don't give a fuck. Tell me what it feels like. When was it- the last time you went outside and the air wasn't vibrating from how hot it is? Months. Especially in the city. I the hate, I hate the summer. I've never been a fan of the summer. Uh, I'm not even, like, like I, I just prefer the winter. Listen, if you're cold, you can put on layers. If you're hot, you can't escape the fucking heat. You just have to suck it up and die. <laughs> and die. Well, not actually, but like, you know, die. I remember being in high school, and this was like preseason for soccer, and I literally had a heat stroke. Like, I literally couldn't see because my vision had gone like blurry because of how hot it was. And then I remember driving home that day. I wasn't driving. I was like a freshman in high school. And I told the person that was driving me home, I was like, bro, pull over, pull over, pull over, please. I started yakking. And someone got a video of me, and they're like, this is how we need to have you after soccer practice. No one's putting in that work like one is. And I was like, bro, I'm actually just dying. I like, this is not a fun game. Not I'm dying. I want right now. Yeah, I, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just getting too hot. And that just goes back to the fucking global warming shit. It's just getting too hot. Like, what are we supposed to do? What are, as, as individuals, right? I do think, you know, all jokes aside, we should do our part as individuals to help the betterment of the world. We can't just look at it as, oh, all these rich people are doing whatever the fuck, so I shouldn't care either. Because that's just pessimistic as hell. If it's going to be like that, you should just give up right now. Like, stop trying. Like, uh, I don't care anymore. Like, just give it up. But we shouldn't just always, you know, be dependent on the rest. I think as individuals, we should do our part. I stand by what I said about turtles because I'm tired of paper straws. Listen. My my paper straw is in my drink for longer than 30 seconds without me sucking. My drink is paper. I don't care. And metal straws, if I'm sucking on a metal straw for too long, I got mad metal in my mouth. You eat with spoons, right? Metal but that's different. How that's is that different. different? Because I'm eating solid foods. I'm not eating liquids. Soup? All right, but that's different. Because it's like, it's different. It's different. Because you don't drink hot drinks with a straw. You drink cold drinks with a straw. Soup, you don't eat it cold. You eat it hot, you usually. Know, come on. You've never had like a hot chocolate that give you those those little those little straws? Yeah, but they're usually plastic. You know what? You're right. I haven't seen a metal one. Yeah, like... They should make those. It's different for hot drinks. Like, hot drinks, the metal won't affect it. But if it's a cold drink, that means the shit isn't mixed in there. It's just there. So if I put like a paper straw in there... That shit's gonna taste like paper. You know what? Yeah, I I agree. I don't like paper straws. I, got I don't the metal like them. Straws. They're just okay. Like even paper straws. I mean, even metal straws. I don't like that much. Nah, they're, I'll they're use violent. a pa- I'll use a plastic straw before I use a metal or paper straw. You're crazy. Paper straw. Like I I just can't get over like it's not, it's not even the taste. It's like the texture of what, when it's like melting. Close to the mic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you started talking like over here. I'm like, fuck, this guy's... Yeah, sorry. We downgraded with the chair, so my ass hurt, but... That's fine. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'll do better next time. What was that? Fuck. Oh, like, I don't know. It's the, it's the texture, whatever the paper's try. I, I can't enjoy the drink at that point. I can't. It tastes ugly. I don't know. Even with the plastic bags, you know how uh, in New Jersey, for those of you that aren't from New Jersey, they banned all plastic bags. Yeah, we have to get our own like grocery bags. Yeah, I kind of don't like that decision because sometimes you go to the grocery store and you don't think about all the stuff you're gonna buy, and sometimes you're limited now by the amount of bags you bring. Like, like if I, um, I want to bring some new shit that I just never tried before and I can't because I didn't sufficiently plan my bag take. This is ridiculous. Like, I, I, I'm not liking I'm not jacking this. Just leave all the grocery bags in the car. That's yes, what we do. But what if you don't take enough? And then I have to carry how around much, the store. How big is your fridge? But let's just say you go on a BJ's run. See? That's the issue. Yeah, I don't go to BJ's. Okay, well, listen. You need to go to BJ's. Like, Bruh. they are the best. Pathmark was the spot. I mean, the Pathmark don't exist no more. It's like yeah. super fresh. But that's the that's the spot where we always go. Pathmark is super fresh now? Yeah. At least, yeah. It should be. Every single one? I don't know about every single one. It I was never like knew. Pathmark, Acme, and some other shit. Yeah, that is Acme. Yeah, or it's not Acme? Acme died. Acme also sure. died? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure they, they removed all Acmes. At least the three Acme locations that I knew of, gone. Really? And they're just super fresh now. Wow, I didn't know Acme died too. Because I remember the Pathmark that was by here turned into an Acme. Yeah. What is it now? I don't want to say the name because then they might know where I live. <laughs> But oh, it's right. <laughs> it's a very common grocery store in this area. 
Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yes. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. Yeah. It's just a very common grocery store. But I don't know. I think the world is ending. It, it makes me always think about that Jonas Brothers song. We've been to the year 3000. And it turned that we lived underwater. I can't say I ever listened to the Jonas great, Brothers. And my great, 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 great granddaughter is doing fine. Were y'all doing Jonas Brothers fine. fans in the comments? They might have been. The, 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 one of the, uh, That's I just, that Disney they were, they were Disney? They were Disney, yeah. But I think they were just a band before that, and then they just happened to oh, get a shit. Disney show. Oh, shit, Jonas Brothers. I'm thinking the yeah. Naked Brothers band. I'm, no. I'm, I'm losing it right Joe now. Joe Jonas, Nick yeah, Jonas, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kim Jonas. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. I, I only bring them up that. because I, I started thinking listening about the, to the Jonas Brothers, but dude, I know what you're talking about. when the end of the world topic comes in, I always think of that song because it's like, what world are we living? My great great granddaughter. She won't be doing fine anymore. She's gonna be underwater. I don't think your granddaughter gonna be doing fine. I think. Oh man, it's just scary. Yeah. No. But on top of the Jonas Brothers, they have a new show. Two of them, uh, Kevin Jonas, and they have a fourth brother that was like less known. The low key Jonas. Yeah, yeah, the low key Jonas, Frankie Jonas. They have a new show called Claim to Fame, where it's like if you're the sibling of a celebrity. You could like go on that show and you have to like keep your identity a secret. Like your your sibling or like your aunt, uncle, whatever. You have to keep their identity a secret. And I was talking about that show. Who would you put on that show? Like let's say you're the famous person. Who would you put on that show? All of Elon Musk's secret babies. No. Who would, <laughs> as in you, like would you put in your mom, dad? Like who do you think people would have the hardest time guessing? Oh, shit. I'm putting my mom, bro. You guys don't look alike, huh? You guys don't look alike. Nah, I look like my dad. I, I'm like a like a spawn of my dad. Oh damn! I don't look like my mom. I, 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 don't, I don't think I look like my mom. I was dad. making the joke with my sister because I'm like six foot, like three ish. Uh-huh. Every time I'm, I talk about my height on this podcast, I'm gonna add an inch. <laughs> I think I said I was six foot He's two at the beginning. Actually, seven foot five. Yeah, by, by, by episode fifteen, <laughs> I'm seven foot five. But my sister's five two and tiny and like. Like, a, a little darker than me, has curly hair. Like, me and her look like opposites. It's so funny. I think if, if she were to get on that show, we mo- we have a chance of winning. We have a chance mm-hmm. of winning. Y'all facial features don't look... I don't think so. Have you never seen a picture of her? Uh, you might have I on might my, have like, Instagram in the, or something. In, like, the San Francisco video? Maybe, maybe. maybe. Probably. You edited that video, so <laughs> you should know. But I'm we, we could get her on one day, talk about kids or something. Oh, yeah. Hear me out. How's Hear me out. having two demons? Listen. Listen, hear me out. If your kid is ugly, you have to tell him. You have to tell him. Same with the parents. They'll be like, oh my God, look at my little baby. You gotta let him know. And them babies be ugly, bro. Them babies be ugly. Some babies be ugly. Luckily, my sister has cute kids. But some babies be ugly, Were they born No, cute, no though. baby is born cute. Right. No baby right. is born cute. They all ugly. Listen, listen. I don't know. I Wait, don't know. Okay. Do you know if, if, if your niece and nephew were born with hair? Yeah, they were both they were born both with hair. hair. Yeah, yeah. All right. I don't think I, I, I was just born need to hair. prove a point. You Why? Know who, you know who you are. Why? <laughs> are babies not born with hair? Yeah. Apparently. No, babies are born with hair. That's all I'm saying. They I, can I, be. I had they hair. can yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, like some babies are bald. Yeah, I remember but... coming out with a fade. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but so stupid. No, yeah, uh, yeah. It's just you know sometimes your jokes doesn't land. But on the topic of even like, oh, I just remembered we were talking about fucking. Fuck, I forgot what I was going to talk about. But I was going to say something about monkeypox. Let, let's come back. Yeah, like, I don't know. Let's let's come. I just, I think I might be bleeding. I just punched my own mouth. I am. <laughs> He's trying to bring the thoughts back. <laughs> I just fucking cut myself. Well, while he drinks his water. I'm um, going to go like this. But. Monkeypox oh. is terrifying, bro. Yeah. You cannot eat a banana around me. Wow. Am I bleeding bad? It don't look like it. Did you really punch yourself? I like put my nail into my fucking gums. Oh shit. That fucking sucks. Sorry. Um, Technical difficulties. Bro, monkey pox. It's like, I mean, at this point I've collected every COVID variant. I've had COVID like three or four times. I, I must. I'm like immune at this point. I got all of them. If they release a new variant, it's going to get beat by the other... Fucking antibodies. <laughs> Hit me got. out. Did anyone else get their COVID vaccine like under a bridge and the dude heated it up on a spoon or something and then put it into the needle or? That, that, that teaspoon? Yeah, he, he put on a little teaspoon, heated that shit up and twice then. Twice a day. Wrapped my arm around, smacked it a couple times. 
And then he was like, here you go. And I haven't gotten COVID since, so he did something, right? I also have not been the same since, and I've started seeing double. But uh-huh. some things you have to take. But that monkey box shit is scary. Like, it's not the same. You got blisters. You got blindness. You just straight up die. I don't think you... I think the survivability is pretty high. I, no. Not with those conditions. I, I die. Like, like I think, I think it has like 90-something percent. I think the, the what's really bad about it is... Uh, is it's visual, like you can actively see it. That's not what's worse about it. Obviously, the things like blindness and things like that, but also just the working class. You have to be out of work. You can't go to work. And another like big thing like this is is scary because a lot of people are gonna be jobless, not working at I all. I can't do another lockdown. I don't think they'll lock down. I don't think so. No, no way. I don't think so. People didn't even comply to the first lockdown. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. I, it, it'd just be hard to get everybody back into their homes. It'd just be so hard. You're right. We got people that wanted to get out just to set the club. And dude, average 20 damn she bad. Dude, tonight. <laughs> I used to... Yeah, I don't know. Even like clubbing shit. Dude, I don't know how people during like peak pandemic were going out to clubs and shit. That shit was mind-boggling to me. Like actually mind-boggling to me. Like how badly do you need to go to the club? Like mid mid-pandemic, like it's not even like... When it started calming down, I guess. It hasn't calmed down fully, but when there were less cases, less people were passing away from it. People were just in the club paying overpriced drinks for what? To average 20 damn she bads a night. I don't know. When I go to, like, clubs and stuff, I, I've actually never been to, like, a club. I've been to bars and stuff, uh-huh. but I've never been to, like, a club, which I'm 22. Maybe I should go, but I just, I would go and... I just didn't like even trying to pick a woman at these bars because I don't want to come off as that creepy dude trying to pick a woman at a bar. Mm-hmm. I think if you go out to a bar with the sole intention of hooking up with women, you are a fucking weird. I don't think that should be your soul. Maybe it's like a like a side quest. That's fine. But don't make your whole night out about trying to hook up with a girl. Like, that is just weird. And yeah, weird. I'm not, as a man, trying to tell y'all how to be men. Don't get me wrong. But that's fucking weird. I think... As men, we should hold each other accountable and be like, hey, bro, how about we just go out and have fun and not just worry about you getting laid tonight? Let's 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 ha- just have fun. I feel like I'm very fortunate to not like, I mean, I don't think so, at least to be surrounded by somebody that's just like always talking about having game or whatever. That shit gets annoying. So it's fast. just exhausting. Yeah, like, But who cares? <laughs> like, are you trying to fuck me? Like, why do you keep talking about it? It's like. Do keep talking about how many bodies you guys like do. Are you trying to add me to the list or something? You're trying to fuck me? Why do you keep telling me these things? But some people do it. Some people don't get tired of it. Yeah, bro. Hear me out. Hear me out right here. Okay. Clubs are mid. Why? Bro, like, it's a sweaty ass room. It's the music. Bro, music taste be hella mid. Especially I'm from, like, going to these college uh, clubs. Hella mid. Yeah. Maybe it's just because there's too many... Uh, Printer paper people, but it's it's hella mid. Like you'll be like, oh my god, I need my song to come on, but like, it's just not. Like, I mean, me personally, I would just enjoy getting like a get together with somebody. Not necessarily like go out to a restaurant or whatever. Just like something between like like a like a small group of people and just hang out. Yeah. You know, fucking get a bonfire or some shit. But like that's for me, it's just way better than going to a club. You can't even talk with nobody in the club. It's too loud. It just You're depends just like, what, what type of club you go to what? though too. I, don't like, know. I enjoy I don't have, like that crazy experiences, but I just know like from the from the times I have went, it's like I know it's not for me. Yeah, that's fair. I don't even think it's for me either. I much rather prefer like staying home. Like I'm a homebody, really. I'm a homebody. I don't I don't like going out that much to be fair. And when people invite me out, I try to go. I've I've been recently trying this thing where I don't say no to things. Where obviously if it's something like crazy, I'll say no. But I've been trying to be more open to new experiences because I've noticed in my own life that I have been just very like, no, no, no. Like someone tries to invite me out. I'm just like, no. Or, or if it's like something new, I just am very hesitant to try it. And I want to be more open to new things and new ideas and new experiences because I'm only young once, realistically. And I can't spend it all the time just cooped up and miserable so i try to expand my 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 well-being i guess i haven't gone rock climbing with you no we haven't gone rock climbing yeah because like that's something i picked up in the last 
well hiking like two years uh two years ago two or three years ago like i went to go visit my siblings in utah mm -hmm. and took me hiking up the for people that don't know it's like the the utah great arches it's like these like nice trails like natural arches made in the fucking desert and you just walk around looking at them um but it's, it's pretty cool it's just it's like stress relieving just like not even walking around just um, cause some hikes are cool. Like this one hike we did, I, I can't remember the name, but I like, it was like a two mile hike. So two miles and two miles back. Right. But then at the, at the end you had to like, that shit was kind of low key scary. You had to like climb up these rocks. Like it was just straight up rocks at that point. It wasn't even like, like ground, but at the top there was a, a waterfall inside of a cave. And like, I mean, I have the video somewhere. Um, but bro, that water was so cold cause at the top is snowing. Right. And that water that was melting is just coming down into that like cave, like that that became a waterfall, and it just like ran through it. Um, that was like, it was. Peak. It sounds nice. It was peak. We should go. Yeah. We should go on a trip. But even even then, you know what? I agree. We Let's should go on a trip. Yeah, I feel like we'd have fun. Sponsor sponsor a trip. For Someone us. sponsor a trip for us. Podcast we should go. from a waterfall, and we could do a podcast because realistically, look at all the equipment we have. Right. We could. We just gotta trek up. We literally could though. Yeah. Do like a podcast outside. You should do a podcast outside next time. Oh my god! Just keep changing the background until one sticks. The pigeons gonna go crazy. I think that'd be fun, low key. And I, I only went off camera just now to make sure I didn't have blood in my teeth. By the way, <laughs> I, I didn't want to just go to the podcast with fucking blood in my mouth. But I, it'll be fun. Yeah. I mean, recently, uh, you could uh, take your girl if you want, cause I know. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Maybe we can find you one, bro. <laughs> On the hike, you know. <laughs> no, that is just, <laughs> do not pick a woman on a fucking trail. That is crazy. Oh my god. Um, recently, within the last year, I started rock climbing too. That shit is fun. It hurts. I'm a bigger dude, but like, I feel like you'd be good at it. Like you could just Spider Man. I have no upper there. body strength. It doesn't matter. You're just like your your weight is distributed differently. You're just more lanky. Like we have we have a friend Julian. You know Julian. Yeah. Julian for listening. Like he he was eating that shit up. He was an artist. I don't, I forgot if he went like before or not. But he was like, oh, I could do that. And he was just, doo, 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 doo. but like, um, yeah, he was like, oh, I'm using my arms. I was like, damn, I can't like with my forearms. I I don't got a gorilla grip. I can't lift myself up. Yeah, like that. You gotta use legs and stuff. But like that shit is fun. I feel like we should go sometime. We could try. We should, you know, I I'd be down. Yeah. Maybe. Oh what? No. God. Okay. I've just no. said. He's How, saying yeah. no. I'm, I'm I just said, I since you're doing this chat. in front of the hey. podcast, I will go once. We could get a little video out of it. Oh my God. Not like a YouTube video, but like a little, just like a little clip that we could post on, on my, Instagram. My first time climbing and this It'll be happened. fun. It'll I be would fun. never go like real world life uh, rock climbing. Though. Real world. Also, oh, your fake world life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like inside, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah, no way I'd be like, yeah, look at this big ass mountain. Yeah, Let me that's see scary. if I can. I could be like, who, who does that? For what reason? I'm not that much of a thrill seeker. Right, yeah, yeah. I'm not that. Much I don't of a even know seeker. if I do skydiving, like jump off of a, of a of a plane. I would need to like if I said yes, you gotta take me within five seconds, or I'm gonna change my mind real quick. It's like I told you about like that anxiousness, like where I was sitting at the top of the thing, and that's the only time I actually felt anxious. I feel that way about skydiving. Part of me wants to do it because I think it's something that I should experience, but I also know. The anxiety that I will have. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do this. If we get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year on YouTube. Or no, that's too many, right? On YouTube? No, no, no. Let's do, let's do t 10K across all platforms. Whether it be Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. If we get to 10,000 followers across all platforms... By the end of the year, we'll go skydiving. Will? Yes, me and I, you. We were friends. We're talking French right now. <laughs> I didn't <No>. know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. it. Oh my god, that'd yeah. be fun, bro. I went to Disney World and getting on a slinky roller coaster—that shit was hard. I'm I'm terrified. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna have to run off. I'm, I'm gonna just have to run off, do fuck. a flip, something, get pushed off, close my eyes. I mean, they just push you off. I th I'm pretty sure. No, I want to run. They off. just get scared no, because like... when they jump off, like if you flail and like grab onto something, you'll kill them. But <laughs> I think we should do it. If we hit 10,000... Let's do 10,000 followers on something by the end of the year. That's a lot of followers. So we probably won't hit it. But just think of how successful we might be. And then it's something to, you know, appreciate the success. I think it'd be cool. I think it would be cool. Let's just say it. Let's just give them a number. and then Give me 10K. 
December thirty first. Uh, how many? How many? How many? Uh, on which platform? Across you said. Across right? all platforms. Across. Okay, let's do this for an Instagram video then. We're gonna post this on Instagram. Oh my god! If we get ten thousand <laughs> followers, we're in the middle of a podcast. If we get ten thousand followers across all platforms before the end of the year, me and Kevin will go skydiving. I can't believe I'm getting dragged into We're this. going to do this. <laughs> if we hit 10K, look, I'm December giving... December 31st, December 31st 11, 2022. Not... What is that? 59. Yeah. Right before midnight. 10K. 10K. across all plot. It's a large number, and I'm doing this on purpose so that we probably don't hit it. But with the, with the possibility that this blows up or something, and we do hit that number, then we will do it. Like it's like a good, it's a safe bet. It is a safe bet because realistically, that's crazy growth in what f- four, four months. Ten k. Yeah. That's a lot. It's hard to do. Bro, I'm already sweating, bro. It's hard to hit do. it though, for real. But back to the planes, right? Okay, crazy, crazy <laughs> segue. Back to the planes, Kylie Jenner plane. For those of you that say I just ramble on and go on tangents, okay, ready? This is how I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all how my brain works. All right, we go back to the plane, right? Because we were just talking about skydiving. Then we get to planes, and we talk about the world crisis, and we talk about Kylie Jenner on a private jet. We get from Kylie Jenner. Let's talk about her siblings. Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson oh my have God. broken up. Nine months. Nine months of dating, and it's finally gonna be my turn. If she's into scrawny white dudes, I'm right up her fucking alley. Yo. DM her on Instagram right Dude, now. Dude, <laughs> I should just from the from the HMO uh, from the HMO tag account. her right now in the comments. Listen, if you guys don't are, tag Kim Kardashian, if she's into skinny white guys, she knows where to find me. But no, it's crazy. It's so funny, and you know what's the funniest part about that whole fucking relationship? He has her kids' names like initials tatted on him. He just got a lie. And Kanye West just posted a... Did you see that Kanye West post? Skeet Davidson, Skeet Davidson is dead. <laughs> and then under it was like, Kid Kanye couldn't perform at the funeral due to bottle throwers. Fucked oh, up. Honestly. Yeah, it's it's funny. <laughs> but, dude, what would it take for you to get someone's, like, name tattoo? Not just their name. You're like... And they're, they weren't even married. It's not like it's his stepkids and it's, like, a reasonable... They were just dating. Yeah, I don't know. That's like... That's like... Even if she don't got kids, that's like tattooing her family's name. On, on your body too No I don't know Imagine getting the Kardashian name I would do it across my chest Just no, get Kardashian on that shit No rag rats Just yeah, No <laughs> rag rats That is crazy I think like that's scary as hell Yeah nah bro That's I mean I, I don't really I wouldn't say I'm I'm a huge fan of tattoos If you want them I'm not against it But me personally I'm like I don't know. I would feel like me for me. I would need like a like a crazy meaning or something like that. Okay, right, ready. We're gonna do another one. Twenty five k. No, absolutely not. I'm not in there. We get Fuck HMO tatted. But you could get two. You could get one on your left arm and one on your right arm. I yeah. I don't know. I've always thought about getting a tattoo. I kind of want one. Um, personally, I think they're cool looking as fuck. There's a lot of tattoos that I know I wouldn't be able to rock, but I do want to get like something to commemorate like. Like, I don't want to get a commemoration of, like, a first job or something because then if that goes poorly, then you're just going to look at that tattoo and be pissed. But I do want to get a commemoration of, like, my 18 years of schooling, like, me finally getting a degree. And plus, like, you know, like, parent sacrifice. If you're a tattoo artist and, and are thinking about ideas about it, hit me up. Hit the DMs. But I've just, like, thought about it. Like, I kind of want to get something. And it's going to be right here for the visual watchers. I'm pointing at it. For the audio listeners, it's, like, the crease between my elbow. So if you guys like, if you guys think that if that hurts, please let me know because I I don't know about tattoos and how much they hurt. But I've always thought about it. Like I don't know if I want to get like my parents' initials or something, or like a little cap or something. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do, but I don't know. I I might just fall in love and get a girl's name tatted. I feel like I'm the how type. many months? <laughs> Two how weeks. Many years? Two weeks. Hear, hear me out. If you really love your girl, you'll get her name tatted within three days. Of this relationship. Uh-huh. Where's your tattoo at? Oh, you can't see it. You don't love your girl. <laughs> that nah, was the TikTok oh right there. God. Boom. <laughs> but no. I mean, Clip even like it. coming into relationships. Hear me out. How do you know you love your girl unless you cheat? Honestly. What? You won't know that you love her until you get that opportunity to see someone else. Think about that one. Think about that. Let, let that one revel in your head a little bit. How will you know that she's the one you want to be with 
if you haven't been with somebody else. Mmm. Mmm. Think about that, my brothers. Think about that. Listen. Share with share with your friend who cheats on his girl. <laughs> <laughs> Tag nah, cheaters joking. down below. Don't, don't cheat on your girlfriends. I, I I think cheating is like not good. I definitely think it's not the end of the world. Um, it depends. Like if you have kids, you shouldn't cheat. Nah. But if it's like a common relation, like obviously cheating is bad. Obviously cheating is bad. But I also don't think it's the craziest thing in so the if world. So girl cheated on you, you would I would stay be with her? no. I wouldn't stay with her, and I would break up with her. But the fact is, eventually, I would get over it. Oh, no. And if yeah, it's, like, yeah, a healthy yeah. relationship... Like, let's say it was healthy outside of the cheating, right? And this person, like, cheats on me. This hypothetical situation. Hypothetically, I'm in, a, I'm in a relationship. Hypothetically, my girlfriend cheats on me. Like, this is two hypotheticals in one. But I would be, obviously, fucking upset. I would be upset at her. I wouldn't be upset at the dude because, you know... Yeah, that's, not that's that, weird. Not that's that I'm the... Weird. I've never been a homewrecker. But I've definitely talked to women... Who have boy like not have boyfriends but are like on and off with their boyfriend and I caught them at an off time and then they got back with their boyfriend and they don't like me and like that's one thing like that's one thing and I'm not proud of that like it's not like a flex or anything a little bit, a little flex a little flex but it's also if the dude gets mad at me I kind of don't understand definitely especially if I don't know about that like the ins and outs of their relationship if a, if a woman comes up to me and tells me she's single and she's actively pursuing me I'll just take their word at face value right. but if they're lying and they're the one being like mischievous I don't think that responsibility falls on me anymore I think it definitely falls on the person that is in that relationship outside of me now if it's like a friend or something that's a different story now if I like if I actively know that this person is in a relationship and I'm pursuing them that's different but if they're actively pursuing me, while whilst it's unbeknownst to me that they are in a relationship, they have no Instagram posts up, then I will just take <laughs> it at Instagram face value. Instagram posts got deleted. Son, if 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 I know for a fact that you have a boyfriend and you have Instagram posts of him, and you DM me and I don't see the Instagram posts anymore, I'm just gonna assume y'all broke up. Now, if you just arch arch archi- archived archived archive those pictures, that's on you. Now, now, if he gets mad at me, I understand because in that moment of rage, I would be upset at everybody. But once you boil down the logistics of it, yeah, you should be more mad at the person you're dating. Right. I, yeah, I, I never understood that dynamic. And, you know, it's portrayed on, like, on, on TV and shit a lot. Where it's like you, you get mad at like the random people. Like, well, I, 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 I didn't even know y'all were dating. Like, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, why wouldn't you be mad at your partner? I don't know. You, like, where does that come from? Like, where does the rage towards, like, is it is it because, like, you don't want to blame them? I think in those moments, I don't know. I've never been cheating on. Like, I've never been yeah, cheated on. We're speculating. Yeah, like, this <laughs> is, if you've been cheated on, comment this or, or let us know. Send us a DM and we'll share your story, which I don't do that, actually. <laughs> That's crazy. But, yeah, I don't know. I've never been cheated on. Like, I was in a run relationship and it was in high school. So, it's like, that was a long time ago, like, six, seven years ago. And I didn't get cheated on. I think I don't know. Is cheating very common? You think? This is all speculation again. Yeah. Like I don't know. I personally don't know. <laughs> I don't have. I don't huh. have any friends that even got cheated on. I think. Yeah. No. Have you? Do you know of anybody, or are you somebody that has gotten cheated on? Let us know. Yeah. Shoot us a DM. We're sorry. Yeah. If Give you want to get back at your boyfriend, if you're willing to share your story, we'll we'll share it here and talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> and be like, damn. I'll be like, damn. She up, down bro. bad. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe you fucked up. Maybe you were the one that cheated in the situation. Listen, <laughs> if you're a cheater, come on to this podcast. I want to hear from the cheater's perspective, high key. I just want to know what y'all be thinking about when you cheat. Because even like, I don't know. Is cheating ever justified? Uh, if you have an abusive, like if you're in an abusive relationship, I think you can cheat. But also, I would want you to seek other help outside of like just cheating. I'd want you to like. Seek like okay. professional help. What if, what if, um, let's just say, like, like you're sorry, 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 mic, microphone, microphone. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what if you're like, you, you kind of like, you don't know if you're like, obviously, you don't know if you're set with your partner, right? But like, yeah, let's say you enjoy, like, okay, you're enjoying your time with them or whatever, but then the, the intimacy is just ass. Are you staying with them or are you leaving? So, this implies that we were never intimate before we started dating? No. Or did we start dating, and, but I already knew that the intimacy was like ass? No, 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 no. Yeah, I didn't no, know. You didn't know. 
Hmm. Is that a deal breaker? I don't know if it's a deal breaker. I'm I sure think it's a deal breaker. I think yeah. you can learn. Okay. Like you can like, they can teach you what they like. You can teach them what you like. I think intimacy between a couple is very like learning. You you learn a lot because that's assuming they want to learn though. Uh, yeah, that's assuming that too. And if if someone can't make any sort of like change, I guess then that's a whole different like topic. But if if and I don't know. It, it, it's like a gray area, I think. I don't think for me it would be the final say. Um, I care a lot more in terms of like when I'm looking for a partner at least. Intimacy outside of like sex. Right, know? right. But let's, no, not, no. let's not beat the that bush. Could, no, no, no. It doesn't have to be that. Uh, intimacy could be just like hanging out. Yeah. I mean, if their love language isn't the same as my love language... I'm very touchy feely, right? Like I'm a no, very touchy feely yeah, like, person. Most of, like most of the time, your love languages aren't gonna. Yeah, like, and that's fine. But if I'm like a very touchy feely dude, and like I just like being like cuddled up, like I'm like, listen, I like being cuddled a little bit. I'm tired of I'm tired of being shit like a piece of meat. I like to cuddle. Any like, seven foot one woman that wanna be big spoon? Listen, she's looking. Listen, I'm listen, listen. Hear me out. If my girl is taller than me. She better be WNBA taller than me. She's not no no six three. No, she better be six foot eight and playing for the for the Phoenix like Phoenix Suns or whatever the team is in Phoenix or the Temple Sun or whatever. I need my girl to be WNBA tall, not no one inch taller than me. Nah, you need to be the starting point guard on a woman's team, okay? Or you need to be you don't need to be a star. You just need to be that tall. That's what I mean. Like you don't need to be on the team, but you need to be six foot eight, six foot nine type tall not no six foot three fuck that i need you i need you that you could dunk a basketball if you really needed to in a do or die situation we can play we can play pick a basketball Mm -hmm. that that good good. (laughs) clip 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 wait okay so then what are your deal breakers then do you have any deal breakers you're like oh yeah i can't so there are definitely times where like apart like it can't be something random like oh like I don't know. They 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 store elbow picks or some shit like nah. that. Like something like extreme. I think uh, so. This is personal stuff, right? I I'm not gonna like say names or anything like that. But I've definitely when I've interacted with women that I might be interested in. Th- there's this one thing that like instantly turns me off with wanting to be with them, and it'll be like, how do I word this without being too controversial? I guess. But it's it's a certain sense of entitlement. I think if if you expect me to do like not even everything in terms of like like monetarily or physically, it's just like if you expect me to do all the providing in terms of not even money. I'm not even talking about money. I'm talking about just like intimacy, like loving, caring, but it's not like reciprocated. I will like just like not what and you could tell by talking to people that they expect to be like pampered. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And not that I'm against pampering by any means. Like, I, I will gladly tell a woman she's beautiful constantly. I will gladly, like, pay for shit. That's not what I'm saying. I just mean more so in, in the terms of, like, this needs to be a mutual thing. I, what are I you don't, bringing to the table? Yeah, what are you bringing to the table? Because at the end of the day, I'm not a rich man. I fucking have a podcast. Like, <laughs> I'm not rich. I'm, I don't... Maybe get a five-piece at McDonald's. Like, I can gladly... But also, I think... Even in, in like, emotional intelligence. I think th- when I talk to some people, you can tell that they're still not there yet. And, like, that's fine. I don't expect everyone to be there. But I just personally don't want to waste my time with someone I feel isn't going to, I don't know, like, isn't going to fulfill my, like, even, I don't know, like, social needs. If If I can't, I can't. Listen, if, if we're having a conversation and I'm controlling the entire conversation, which is fair because I talk a whole fucking lot, that's fine. Like, I understand if you're not, like, talking as much as me. But if you're just sitting there like a fucking stone wall, like, how will this ever transcend from us kissing? You're an, you're an NPC. Like, <laughs> I, I, you're, you're, like, how will this transcend from anything outside of what it is yeah no i agree if they can't hold a conversation um it's not working out and it, bro, it depends the context of the conversation not too. even that like it's just everything's just yeah no okay 
And I hate yeah. that. I hate that oh excuse where God. it's like, oh, oh, I just, I'm not a good texter. Bullshit. I think, honestly, I will say this. When I was younger, I used to never understand why people wouldn't text back immediately. As I get a little bit older, I'm like, yeah, sometimes I just don't have the energy to text some people back, and that's fine. But even now, still, like, if, if like, a friend texts me or something, I don't, I'm not the type of person that will pull a lane. Like, I'm not the type of person that, that plays the game. Do you know what playing the game is? No. Hear me out. Do not play the game. If she takes 12 hours to text back, do not take another 12 hours to text back. Just uh, text her back. Yeah. That's, that's playing the game. Know. But I don't play the game. Like, if, if I'm talking to somebody, I don't care. If I'm on my phone at that moment and you respond to me, I will most likely just respond because right. I'm already on my phone and I'm not doing anything else if I'm already on my phone. But if I'm not on my phone, let's say I'm at work or let's say I'm streaming or doing these other things, maybe I'm at the gym, I'm not texting back, but that's different. But I mean, if I have my phone in my hand and I get a text, more than likely, I'm just going to respond to your text unless I'm just completely beat and I don't want to talk to people. But more than likely, I'm just going to text you back. Realistically, I'm, j- I'm just going to text you back. I don't like, I don't know. It's weird. It's To me, it's a little weird. It's a little weird, especially if I know you're not really busy. You know what I mean? If I kind of know your schedule, like, it's fine. If you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. And I don't expect people to want to talk to me. But let's say we're having, like, just a casual, co- like, like you ask me something. Like, I had a friend one time ask me something. And then I responded, like, almost immediately. Like, probably, like, two, three minutes, right? And they didn't text me back until the next day. And I'm like, why are you doing this? Like, like, what, like why? Just- yeah, you know what? That's something that does kind of bother me. And, like, people have said, like, but you didn't respond to me. But that's just because, like. I don't want this to become an endless conversation. Oh, that's Whereas, fair. Like, it goes that's into fair. like it goes the next day, and then the next day, and then the next day. So once I complete done, once a complete thought is completed from your side, and I have nothing else to add, that's it. That's fine. The conversation dies. I have a friend, uh, my <laughs> friend Augustine. I love him. I don't know if he listens, but he will do this thing where he always is the last person to text you. So like, let's say the conversation is over, he'll still send something okay. so that he's the last one. <laughs> yeah, like like me and him will end up just sending hearts to each other. Like, we'll be, like, the conversation will be over, and then I'll be like, oh, all right. And then he'll send me a heart, so I'll just send him a heart. And then we'll just nonstop sending each other, like, just bullshit what? because we don't end the conversation. <laughs> and I just continue it because it's just funny because, like, he won't stop. And so I don't stop just to, like, match his energy. And it's great. Like, I love that. I no, love it. It's so at funny. At this point with, like, Discord and, like, since I got an iPhone, I just react. That so do- I, I always get the last laugh Listen, I get do you, to react. Do you prefer being left on delivered or seen? Seen. I prefer being left on scene. Yeah, okay. I I prefer, I'm much ra- Hear me out. I'd rather be left on scene than delivered. Fuck that deliver shit. I want to know you read my shit. If you don't want to respond better, I can I can live with that. But if I never knew you even saw this text, if anything you might have died. What's the fun in that? I don't know. That's just me though. That's just mm-hmm. me. That's just me. I want to go to that if you die, but I I do want to know if you received the message. But like, yeah, even if you like Bro, at this point, we grown as hell. Like, yeah. If you've seen it, it's okay. If you forgot to respond, That's it's fine. okay. That's fine. And I don't think I'm entitled to people's time either. Like, I don't think I'm like, don't don't think I'm sitting here like, oh, everyone should text me back. Like, no, I don't think that. But I just feel that way when people text me. Like, if you text me and then I respond and you don't text me back, I'm like, why did you even hit me up to begin with? <laughs> That's people where the endless do- conversation goes on. But no, that pisses me off. Like, people will hit me up. Like, okay. T- like, humble, humble brag. Right. But, like, someone will DM me on Instagram, and I'll respond, and they won't respond back to me. And I'm just like, why do you even bother messaging me? Like, just, like, I was so calm in my life before you sent this text, and I was going to be calm after. But now, I'm sitting here like, why did this person DM me? And I get it. I get it. Because, you know, occasionally, you know, you're down bad. You slide up on a girl's Instagram story. And then, you ever see those memes? Well, you don't. You're in a relationship. But you ever (laughs) see those memes where it's like, uh, when he slides up with a hard eye emoji and then he he hits you, you you say thanks and he hits you with like oh so what are you doing? Like I never I, do I that. I see it. I yeah, I, I never like, do that. Like I'll slide up with conversation a conversation starts. I see that people complain like, bro, what am I supposed to do with this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like listen, I'll I'll slide up with a little hard eyes or a little little fire emoji. My my choice of my my weapon of choice is a little fire emoji. Slide up with a little fire emoji. Shoo, shoo. It's that never worked. It's not, I'm over a hundred, but <laughs> I'm over a hundred. But shoot or shoot. But like I get it. It's not like I send that and I I think like oh they're gonna talk back. Like they're oh they're gonna be like oh they're gonna love this shit. Sometimes you know, see pretty girl, you you leave a little like on her Instagram story, 
it's not like I'm expecting a conversation to come out of this. I'm not. I'm not expecting anything to come out of this. But, you know, sometimes you got to let them know you're there. You know, touching the water. And then they might like one of your stories back. And you're like, okay, maybe maybe we got a little thing going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Listen, in high school, that shit was the trend on Twitter, bro. If you were, were silently shooting your shot, you know how you would silently shoot your shot in high school? You would just start liking their tweets. Just like everybody's Instagram posts. No, just start <laughs> liking their tweets, bro. I wasn't on Twitter in high school. Oh, I dude. Was, I was an Instagram Andy. The thing is, if someone likes your Instagram post picture, it means nothing. It just might mean you have a nice picture. There's a little. When they spam like. Okay, every spam like. Your okay, maybe Come spam on. like. Spam, spam like is a little. But like different. that, that's kind of weird. Like to me, it's always been kind of weird. Like damn, you. I feel like you're stalking me at this yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Part. I don't know. I got a little toxic trait. I feel like. I feel like when 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 a girl likes my Instagram, right? Like my my uh not my story, just my post. There's like a little part of me, right? Just a little little part of me, guys. A little part of me, that's like damn, she want me. Damn, she really, yeah. she might, like, is she trying to slide so on me? you're the one in the TikTok. Son. <laughs> no, for Bro, real. Bro, TikTok comment section is so funny. Uh, like, the way I pulled I, it out. <laughs> <laughs> I told my mom about it. <laughs> it's no. It's so funny. But now, hear me out. When a girl likes my Instagram post, there's a part of me that really does think she wants me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm like, yo, this might be going somewhere. This actually, I'm... I told my mom about us. I told my cousin. My my aunt just knitted a sweater for you. I posted us on Facebook. I tattooed your initials. <laughs> Have you ever, like, what's the craziest thing you think you've done for, like, a girl? The craziest yeah. thing? Fuck. Let me know. Ask her out three times and get oh, rejected. Yeah. You're a better man than me. <laughs> Bro, it was rough. We made it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. My worst enemy wouldn't gotten that information out of me. Well, y'all heard it here first. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I actually have, a, like, I have a worse one, I think. Like, hopefully they don't listen to this podcast. I'm not going to say any names. But there was this, fuck, I don't even know if I should say the context of how I know them. <laughs> ah, fuck. So there was this girl my senior year of high school that I was really into who was, like, a friend of a friend. And I was just, like, head over heels for this girl. For some reason, I don't know why. She was a really good person, like really cool person, mm-hmm. beautiful, beautiful young girl. She was older than me, but beautiful young girl as in, you know. And me and her were like, talk, like not talking as in like in a relationship. We were just texting. We were just friends, right? But then like I wanted to be more than just friends, right? So like I would like, you know, subtly. It wasn't like it wasn't known that I was crushing on her. Like it was not like I made it actively clear that I was crushing on her. Um, And so... My parents that year were getting married by church. Mm-hmm. So I invited her to be like my guest to my parents' <laughs> church wedding. Oh. There she go. So, so, okay. So, so I hate telling the story, actually. I'm, I'm going to put this on the internet, and this is so bad that I'm telling this on the internet. I hope she doesn't listen to this because that's so embarrassing. But yeah, I, I had a big crush on her. And she was like a friend of a friend. And she knew I was crushing on her. She knew it. It was so clear, like. Um, oh, fuck. I don't know if I should tell this story. Nah, fuck it. I'm already in. So <laughs> you can't leave them hanging. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna tell the story. It's just like embarrassing, and like we have to like I have to remember that we're not famous yet, mm-hmm. and like these stories like right. might actually you know reach. I'll, I'll say something else. I'll say something else. Wait, let me here. finish. Yeah, okay. Let me finish, and then I'll let you. <laughs> so me and her were like texting at the beginning of the year, right? Because we were gonna go to you know the senior dance together, the prom. Fuck for people. Fuck, bro. I can't, I don't know if I should leave that in. Ah, fuck it. I don't care. Whatever. We were, we were gonna go to prom. So, so you know, I was getting to know her because I didn't really know her. She was a friend of a friend. So like, I invited her. You know, I was like head over here. So I invited her to my parents' fucking wedding. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like cringing at the fact. So, <laughs> y'all know y'all have cringe stories too. Listen, y'all we've all been it. down hey, bad. If bro. your username or picture don't connect you, let us know in the comments. No, the so, shit you oh done. my god. So, so whatever. Like, we were like talking a lot when we first met each other, and then we like slowly started like talking less and less. So I had completely forgotten that I had invited her to my parents' wedding. A week before the wedding, she hits me up. She's like, "Oh, I still need to get my dress." And I thought she was talking about prom. And I was like, "Oh, but like, I already bought it." She was like, "No, for your parents' wedding." I was like, oh, I 
fucking invited you to that shit. And like, how would my to be? Honestly, in hindsight, I should just been like, honestly, you can't like, go no more. yeah, like honestly, like they changed the date or whatever. <laughs> they got but, divorced. Yeah, <laughs> they were getting married through church. Like they're already married, but they were just like the the sacrament of matrimony. Um, and dude, the big mistake, big mistake. Not a mistake in terms of like taking her. Like I had a good time with her. Like take going with her. I think like. The big mistake was just like introducing her to all of my family mm. and everyone being like, Oh, is tu novia? Is this your girlfriend? And me and her having to explain, like, Oh no, this is just my friend. Uh-huh. You know how embarrassing that? Fo- Dude, my dad's friend comes up to, like, not comes up to us, but we're like getting food or whatever. And he's like, Oh, is tu novia? Like, is this your girlfriend? I was like, She interjected quick as fuck, like, Oh no, we're just friends. Vomiting and throwing up, dude. Oh my god, I was vomiting and throwing up. I'm mad. This is gonna be on the internet forever. I don't give a fuck anymore. She probably won't listen to this, but I was like, I wasn't embarrassed because like I knew that we weren't anything. Um, so like, it's just dumb on me to like even do that. You know what I mean? But it was nice. Like it, it, it wasn't even like a bad experience. Like I had a good time. She got along with my family great. But that was worse for me because I already had a crush on her, and then seeing how well she got along with my family. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, this is... Uh, I could really see some here. And then nothing ever transpired out of that. Oh. Um, but, yeah, that's the crazy... Like, that's probably, like, the... the Not even down bad. Like, that's just the craziest thing I've done for a girl. Like, take her to my parents' wedding when we weren't even dating. Like, we were just friends. And, like... And the thing is, like, people might say, like, oh, but you guys are just friends, so it doesn't matter. Like, how many of your friends are you taking to your parents' <laughs> wedding? To a wedding, period. Yeah, like, like how many of your friends? Like, the thing is, if it was, like, a stranger's wedding, I would take a plus one as a friend. Like, oh, if it, yeah, like okay. just a friend that's okay. a girl. If it's just, like, if I don't know anybody else, really, I would 100% take, like, just a friend that's a girl. Like, I don't give a fuck. But it's my parents. Like, we're all my family and my family friends are all there. Son, I make poor decisions in my life. And I hate talking about it like it's a bad decision. It's not a bad decision, and I don't regret it. But it's definitely, like, the the craziest decision I've made. You know what I mean? Because I don't like talking about it like it was a bad decision. Because it wasn't. Like, nothing bad happened from it. You know what I mean? But it's still, like, wow. Like, it's, like, a crazy, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, like, oh. It's crazy. I don't know. I'm kind of embarrassed. Oh, I don't know if I should no, tell I, that story. I, I, okay, okay. You know what? I'll, I'll release something. <laughs> So to ease your pain, I I don't think it's like it's like that, but like okay, <laughs> so for so for my girlfriend's sweet sixteen, we weren't together at the time, right? But I blew all my allowance to buy her this big ass teddy bear for a gift because I was like, bro, I gotta have the best gift. I gotta have the best gift. I used all my money on that right. on that on that blue bear. It was a nice bear. She said, I like teddy bears, but then she showed me the one she had, and I was like. Nah, I can't get. They're gonna look the same, so I had to oh. go all out. So I bought this. It's, it was like a, it's like a six foot bear. No, nah, okay. it's not that crazy. It's like it's like, Just it, like it's you. big. It's big. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that shit massive, bro. But I got I I got that for her, and then that night. Well, actually, it wasn't that night. It was like when everybody was having their sweet sixteens or whatever. That was like my first like, like. Kind of like it wasn't me shooting my shot, but it was like, bro, you, 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 you can tell, you tell, you know. But if then you know, you know. Afterwards, actually, at your brother's girlfriend's, um, sweet, yeah, no, well, I think yeah. it was the king's quinceanera, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, sweet okay, fifteen. Yeah, okay, um, that night I sent her this massive text, like massive. Like, it had to be in like in two parts. Oh my because of how god! Fast it, was. And it was just me pouring my heart and soul into those messages and she never read them because her phone died that weekend oh my god and, and, and i sent that on like what like thursday or friday and i didn't hear from her until we got back to school on monday tuesday and i was that's just so like scary that's it that's so it's scary a wrap. That's i was like so I, I have to scary. i have to transfer at this point oh that's so scary <laughs> and like she tells me she's like well now she told me she was like, oh I, I like started reading it but i was on my way to new york for like an interview or like some job or whatever she was like, i didn't get to finish it and then my phone like broke and i had to get a new one and then she got a new one and, and she came, came she came to monday no 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 oh, she okay. came to monday 
Oh, like Tuesday when I went back to school with a new phone, I was like, damn, she went as far as to get a new phone. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's lost in the void, and that was biggest L right I, there. I've Sending never sent big ass text and never, it never got read. Yeah, I never sent a text like that. But one time in high school, I got a text that was so long that when you clicked it. It took me to my notes app to finish oh, reading. Oh, I know. It. Like, yeah, like it took about. you to. An, I don't know if it was the notes app, but it took you to like a different page to be able to read it because it was so long. Like it was like it was like five pages. Like it was like an essay, bro. Mm-hmm. And dude, but listen, talking about shooting shots, bro. I'm gonna one up your sh- shot, shot, right? Yeah. Oh so the same girl that I took to my parents' wedding, the night of prom, right? We're like. You know, prom's over. We're going home. We're sitting outside my house. Not sitting, like, in parked car. And, like, I'm, like, mustering up the courage to be, like, yo, I want to be with you, right? Because although it was, like, implied, I never, like, explicitly said it, right? But, like, we, I would flirt with her a lot. Like, it, it was, like, clearly that I had, like, a little crush or whatever. And, like, I'm mustering up the courage, right? Like, like and I feel like she feels it, like, coming, right? Like, that I'm, like, going to say something. And then she says something like, Damn, I hate when my guy friends like end up falling for me because like then I lose a friend. <laughs> Damn. Bro, if you guys can see like the, for the audio listeners, I'm sorry, bro. So when I tell you my heart dropped into my fucking kneecaps, bro, I dead ass had to get escorted out of that car, bro. Like I have never felt like I felt pain in my life, but that was a different type of pain. I felt like I was like, yo, I cannot believe she just said this. <laughs> me block her number so, <laughs> oh my god like i don't care if it's on the internet i don't care if my life like i don't see them or anything like it's fine they're good people it's it's a funny story to tell but it's like bro i just remember going home and like shedding a tear like i was so <laughs> a dis- single tear brother. son i was so distraught like i was just distraught that i didn't even get the chance to say anything she's like oh before you say it like just know like I'm not interested. Basically, like that's basically right, what it was. Right, like, right. like, oh, I don't want to, like, you know. Back to Huchivia's behavior. See, this is why. This is why I'm a hoe. It's like now nah, I'm not a hoe. <laughs> I, I'm a lover boy. I just haven't found the one for me. So if, if, listen, if y- you're y'all have uh, heard him here, bro. If DMs are open. If you're an HMO eligible, if you're an eligible young lady that's that's looking for love, hit my line. You He's know, six foot three with shoes. I'm six foot four. If you really think about it, so. Do what you can with what you have, and, and we get moving from there, guys. But yeah, that's that's definitely the craziest shit I've done. Like, like, I don't know, and it sucks. Like, those moments where you feel like your world is coming crashing down, and then you look back on it years later, and you're like, oh, I was just a little exaggerated as a little kid. Like, I was so exaggerated. <laughs> no, 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 that shit was pain, bro. Dude, when, when that message the moment- disappeared, oh my. Yeah, and the moment it so feels sad. like the world is ending. You know, let, let, look, the callback from earlier, bro. If that's the world then, bro. I don't give a fuck about climate change. I'll be dead. But the world ending, bro. I remember one time when I, when I was in high school, I was in a relationship. And one night I was like sad or whatever. And I remember my dad just telling me like, I was like locked in my room. So like he didn't know one was like, but he was like, he was like, he was like, look at yourself. Like, like, this is like, you're so young. This isn't the end of the world. And I remember saying some shit like, yeah, but this is my world right now. <laughs> Just a little ass, like, annoying that was a That was your coming of age so, right there. From there, I was like, I really need to start a podcast. <laughs> Someone sent the... <laughs> I need to share my thoughts. Yo, nah. That, that, that was a crazy day. That was, yeah. I, and I don't regret it. Like, it's like a lesson learned, you know what I mean? And I have no animosity towards someone for not wanting to be with me. Like, that's very fine. That's weird. Yeah, yeah that's weird. I, I would like... never be upset at a person for not wanting to be with me. Like, that's fine. Like, it happens. Like, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I, you know, I'm not the best looking dude in the world. I think I, have an, a, I think I have a personality that you have to get used to. I definitely don't think I have the most, like, I in some... Okay, I'm about to contradict myself. But, like, I think in some aspects, I'm good at, like, like, um... Like integrating into groups, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I think I have a person like my actual personality. Like I have a oh my god, how do I say this? I definitely have a personality of mine where I feel like I can easily just mend groups and not push any buttons. But like my real, real personality, when you get to know me, like it takes a little like, like I have like you have to get used to it a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I mean I don't know how I am. It's like, nah, you're you're easy going. I like you. You're yeah. you're a good guy. You're easy to talk to. Yeah, I'm just show. The thing is like. Especially with new people. It's like, people that like to meet new people kind of scare me. It's not that I don't, but it's just like, because it's like, 
I wouldn't consider myself shy. I used to be shy, but not anymore. Like, if we're talking, like, we could just have a conversation. It's just I don't want to. I don't want to meet new people. <laughs> like, especially like, bro, go talk to this new group. And talk about, like, oh, yeah. Why would I want to talk to these motherfuckers? Even, like, like, mixing friends is, like, hard because of that oh, same yeah, reason. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> personality thing, three is mixing with personality Sean, five. It really is like that. Like, you have yeah. different friends that fulfill different, like, needs in your life. You do. And not even, I don't mean, like, physical, but, like, even, like, emotional needs. Like, there are <laughs> some friends that I can't be serious with. and uh, But there are other friends that, like, you can do everything with. You know what I mean? So, I was talking about that with my coworkers today, actually. Shout out my coworkers if y'all listening. They, they listened to the pod. They liked it. Damn. But, um... <laughs> There's gonna be some stories. <laughs> yeah, but, like, they... they I was talking about... I, I brought up the topic, right? Because I just wanted to hear their thoughts because I wanted to bring it up on the podcast today. Like, do you have... Do you have you, you, would you say you have, like, multiple friend groups? Or you have one friend group? Right now, no. Nah, it's like Just one. like the one. Yeah, one. Okay, so I f- have felt recently... How do I wear this without sounding super lonely? I have kind of felt like I don't have my own friend group. I feel like I'm going to... Oh. I have like one group of... like I'd say I have one friend group. Like, okay, let me wear this right. Like, they're all my friends, right? I have a bunch of different friend groups. But I feel on some... In some of them, I feel like I'm an addition to the friend group. Like, I'm an add-on. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm extended DLC. Mm-hmm. There's not, like... I feel like there's... I don't have, like, a friend group that I was, like, a, a founding member of. All of the friend groups, I've, like, slowly... Urged, there's one friend group that, I, that I'm that i one of the founding... Not that, you know, we're going back to, like, do friend groups have leaders? That's fucking... No. I don't mean it in <laughs> that aspect. friend groups have founding fathers. No. <laughs> it's funny to say out loud, but it's like, you know, like, the original people you were friends with, and then from there, you got a bigger group of friends, yeah. bigger group of friends, bigger group of friends. Yeah, but I, I don't feel like that's a bad thing. Like, if I don't think like so either. Join a friend group after. I don't I think, think it's a bad fine. thing, but I do think there is, like, a level of, of, of being an outsider coming into a friend group. Because even, like, with our friends now, right? Mm-hmm. I was definitely an add-on. And not that now it's affected our relationship in any way. Like, our relationship is fine. But there still is a part of you that's, like, less close. Because everyone else was already close. And then you're, like, in now. And you're, like... I wouldn't say that. We all kind of started... No, no. We were only I don't a mean few for us in specific. Before. Oh, okay. I see. I, see, I, I see, just I mean, see. like, in general. Like, I can see how that... Yeah, we all... I think we all became friends relatively the same time, yeah. like better friends like we all yeah, knew each other yeah, from high school uh-huh. but we all became like better friends during like covid the rekindling yeah yeah because i i had thought you and miguel shout out miguel if you if miguel so i thought you and miguel were mad close during high school we, we actually weren't like, yeah we but you guys got like, close yeah. like got the close same time that we got school. close yeah, 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 like yeah. the same time me and miguel got close like when the discord like that discord like started mm-hmm. up and then we just been up from there right we just need to see you there more often dude i did my I have, like, every type of trouble. Like, if it's not car trouble, it's PC trouble. If it's not PC trouble, it's it's internet gym trouble. trouble. It's internet trouble. The thing is, I, I need to start waking up earlier and going to bed earlier. Because yeah. if I want to incorporate... Because I've, I've incorporated the gym into my life, right? But I can't get to the gym after work anymore. Like, I just can't. Like, I just have so much... Like, with this stuff, with me trying to stream, with applying to, like... Do it. Applying <laughs> to, like, jobs and stuff. Like, yeah, like I can't fit it in. So, like, I have to go before work now. Like, I go into work early in the morning. So, I have to go to the gym, like, at 5 in the morning now, I think. And I want to start doing it. And I keep telling myself, like, I'm going to start, I'm going to start, I'm going to start. And I take off. But, like... The hardest part is starting. Consistency, it's though. Just, it's just going. Like, to be honest, like, what I had to do is just show up. Like, if, even 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 if I don't do anything but walk, I just show up yeah. every, like, every time I wanted to go at that time. Yeah. And just, like, go from there. I don't want to get too deep into the gym talk. Like about my my gym partner because we might get him on the podcast one day because he's like a powerlifter. We, you know what? That's good. that's a small ass world. I mean, I don't know him personally, but I know, you know his, his brother. brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you guys went to the same school. Yeah, it's a small world, bro. That's everybody so knows everybody, crazy. bro. It really is such a fucking small world. Like it's 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 absolutely ridiculous. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. But I don't know. I think uh, yeah. I don't know. Friend groups are funny. It's funny how we end the last podcast like that. Or did we end it like yeah a little bit? Did but we? I don't remember because we were no, talking about we were the talking leaders. About gambling. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah a little yeah. bit. I forgot which topic we we ended off on. I think it was the leaders. Yeah, I <laughs> tag think the could. Red Rangers down below. Yeah, still tag the White Rangers down below. I the think DLC. The White Rangers are always DLC. Yeah, literally, literally. They, yeah. There's never a time where they're like on on a, a proper edition. Like they always come in later. The Green Ranger too. The Green You're Ranger. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, White yeah. Ranger, the Black Ranger, and then like the special color Rangers, right, the like the Gold the Ranger. Rangers, yeah, yeah. yeah. those motherfuckers are always special, but. 
I Tag think our Rainbow could. Ranger down below. <laughs> That's just when they're celebrating Pride Month. They get the, the one Holy guy. Holy in June. Yeah, Holy in June, Power Rangers. Sabon decides to make like a Rainbow Ranger. Oh no. My God. But I think here we could wrap it up. Let Good. us know. Um, Let us know. We tried to be a little more structured this time. We may have gone off on more tangents, but we did have more like bullet points that we wanted to hit this time. The first one was more winking it. In my head, I had bullet points that I wanted to hit. But Kevin was unaware of them, so they may have not yeah. been good. No, I, mean, I try, I tried to like segue. Into yeah. everything we wanted to talk about. Yeah. But no, I'm saying for the first episode, we were, it was oh, kind of yeah, like yeah, you yeah, didn't yeah, know. Yeah, uh-huh. But so this like, one, it's more like we had bullet points, and I think so. Let us know if you like a more like structured format. Uh, of course, we're still gonna have a lot of tangents like we had today. Like it's not it's exactly happen, follow. Yeah, like, we're not exactly following a format because then you lose the the natural it's conversation. Not genuine, yeah. Yeah, 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 but let us know if you like this being more like structured ish. At least, like, have certain things. And if there's any, like, specific you want us to talk about, we'll take suggestions as well. But remember, at the end of the day, this is our podcast. So we're going to do whatever we want to do. But we still will listen to suggestions and things like that. But, you know, it, we, we're, we're still learning. The next podcast might not even be here either. It might be <laughs> outside or some shit. I don't know. We're still going through the motions of figuring out how yeah. exactly we're doing these things. So as long as we keep going and we keep learning, I think we're going to keep growing. Yeah, and we're just we're gonna and see remember, y'all next week. 10k followers oh across 10K, all platforms. 10k December 31st, 11:59. We're going skydiving if we hit 10k across all platforms. Oh my god, in HD. But <laughs> this has been Hear Me Out the podcast. I'm Juan. I'm Kevin, and we'll catch y'all next week. Peace the fuck out. Take care. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>